Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is about how to make sure that you see your goals through until the end and how you can complete the New Year's resolutions that you set out for this 2023. Let's dive in. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So glad you are here. And of course, as mentioned in the introduction, today we're going to talk about making sure that you're following through on your goals and how you can actually complete your New Year's resolutions and make sure you stick to them this time. This topic comes from something I've been thinking about with my clients, whether it comes to adherence to their programs to make sure they're hitting their fitness goals or my own personal reflective moments about you know, checking in with myself and my on track to hitting my goals. And I think there's two schools of thoughts when it comes to goals, New Year's resolutions, or especially New Year's resolutions. Some people will say, ah, oh, screw them. They don't, you know, they don't matter. No one ever sticks to them. Um, and that you should just set goals whenever you need to set goals, not wait until the start of the year in order to get moving on them. And I do agree with that. But what I want to talk about is the psychology of change and how it really works. Because what I've noticed with my clients and with myself, with anyone, is that we set these goals for ourselves. And of course, we'll use fitness again as an example. When you set a fitness goal for yourself, or you set a business goal for yourself, or a personal goal for yourself, whatever the case may be, especially if it's something large, what it requires is change. Now, what kind of changes does it require? Well, if it is a business or we'll, again we'll use fitness you've got to change your eating habits you've got to change your sleep habits probably you've got to change your exercise habits uh, you've got to change how you manage stress and maybe not all those things but it's usually a combination of a few from my experience and what I've found is that a lot of people say they want to change and they really mean it and they go I do I want to lose weight you know I want to I want to you know, lose 15 pounds and get down to 12% body fat or whatever it is. I really want to do this. And what you have to be ready for, if you're someone who often sets goals and especially doesn't hit them or follow through with them, is this one, this is what I'm talking about. I'm talking about this for you is because you'll say you want these goals that I want to achieve this, I want to make this X amount of money, but you're not willing to make the changes in your behavior and the things you're doing in order to achieve those goals. And what that does is it creates this disconnect, uh, this um, cognitive dissonance, if you will, and you feel like you're on the way to achieving your goal, you're you know, doing these things, but you're really not making the changes that you need to make. And I'll use an example, sticking on the task of fitness. I really wanna go to the, uh, get in shape, I really wanna get my body fat down. Um, okay, great, so I'm gonna start working out Awesome, that is a behavior change, you've done that. So you've got one behavior change in the bag, but you're only sleeping five hours, you eat like shit, and you're super stressed out. So it's okay, you only, you know, it's about building blocks, it's about seeing uh, the long-term vision and then building it step by step. So great, we'll get that first workout block in place. So next block we work on is the nutrition block. Now we gotta work on your sleep, now we gotta work on your stress, now we gotta work on your technique. So it's just these things, but the point I'm making is that you have to be ready for change. And so in order to be successful with the goals that you set, whether it's these New Year's resolutions or just goals you're setting throughout the year, understand that what you're really asking yourself to do is to change your behavior, change the way that you think, change the way you do, do things, really change who you are. Because what is required of you and that version of yourself having that body is, it entails is a completely different version of who you currently are and what your current behaviors are. And you've got to be ready, again, to get uncomfortable because depending on what the goal is and where you're at, you may have been stuck in a routine in, a, in the same thing over and over. And the longer you've been stuck in the same routine or the same pattern or cycle, obviously the longer it's going to take or the more difficult. And it doesn't have to be, right? I'm just generalizing here. The more difficult it will be or the longer it will take in order to undo that habit because it's so ingrained. So you have to reprogram and rewire things to change your behaviors to make sure you get the outcome that you want. So the main point and the main takeaway from this first part of this is that in order to be successful with hitting your goals, whether it's New Year's resolution or just your goals in general, you've got to understand 
that you have to get uncomfortable and change the behaviors and do the things that are going to make you or going to uh, carry you or attract, create the success that you want and that success being the goal that you set for yourself. And again, I bring this up because I think a lot of people, myself included at times, we set out to do these things and we want to do them and we really want to make them happen and better our lives in certain ways by setting these goals. But we don't all necessarily know, you know, or aren't ready mentally or emotionally as to what it's gonna take to do that. And again, it comes down to, are you willing to change? Now, the problem, if it were easy, of course, everyone would do it. We'd all have what we want. It's no problem. So the challenge with this is that most people, we're going to talk about pain and pleasure now. Most people are not willing to be uncomfortable. We live in a society where we're freaking slaves to comfort, man. We're slaves to comfort. So, you know, instead of even going down the street and getting in your car and going to to get food, which isn't even that difficult. Now we have Uber Eats and now we have, you know, DoorDash and Grubhub and all these things. So it's like, Jesus, man, how easy do things get, right? Like we're not willing to get uncomfortable at all. Like I live in San Diego and it's raining right now. And I know a lot of people are like, oh my God, it's raining. I'm like, I can't do anything. The day's over. Like I don't, you know, and the city kind of shuts down and um, it's kind of funny. And again, it's just because it's a little wet outside and we're not, you know, we don't get a lot of rainfall. Okay. Again, point is, you've got to be willing to be uncomfortable. So use, you know, this um, this video to create the awareness you need in order to incite the change. So you've got to be ready and understand that the in order to achieve your goals, it's about behaviors. It's about changes, and it's about behavior changes specifically. And you've got to do things differently in order to get the different result. And the second thing, and I want you to understand the point, is that understand the pain and pleasure standpoint and where that goes, is that you've got to be willing to make those changes and that change is painful, it's uncomfortable. And the reason it's painful, it's uncomfortable is because if it's a new skill you have to learn, you're probably gonna suck at it, you're not that good, it's a grind, you've gotta be diligent, like think about learning an instrument, right? That is very tedious, dedicated, committed work that you've got to do over and over and over in order to create mastery in whatever instrument you're doing. That's uncomfortable. Of course, you're not going to practice. Of course, you're not going to want to do it every day. Of course, you're not going to do it all the time. But if you really want to learn the guitar or whatever it is, it requires a change in your behavior. The behavior you have to change is you have to practice regularly. You have to engage your both your mind and your dexterity in order to create the skills and the coordination that you need uh, to start creating the pieces of music that you want. But that process is uncomfortable. So in order to hit your goals, understand that there's a change in behavior and that pain is a big part of the process because pain is uncomfortable. And the reason why most people fail is because they don't want to feel uncomfortable. So be prepared for change in behavior. Be prepared to be uncomfortable. Even better, embrace the discomfort, understanding and accepting that this is inevitable, an inevitable part of you achieving your goal. You have to grow into something new. Right? When you were a kid, I don't know if you got them or have a sibling or knew, I'm sure you knew someone uh, that had growing pains, right? You're like, wake up and you'd have these like aches in your body or whatever. I can't remember so long ago, right? But whatever, aches in your bones, your body, you're like, what's going on? It hurts. And they call it growing pains. It's the same thing here. It's the same thing with whatever goal you want to achieve. There's growing pains. It's uncomfortable. You're going to have to go through all this stuff, the ups and the downs. And it takes work. And that's the third thing that you've got to be ready for uh, as a uh, now online fitness coach. But, um, you know, and it's it's interesting. The, the in-person training and the online training, they really are two entirely different worlds. And I'm coming to terms with that. I'm like, I need to learn. The, it's like I know I'm, an, I'm, I know I'm a great trainer, but online training, it's, it's very different. Um, it's just very different. So I'm like, okay, I've got to learn a skill set. And that's the other thing about this is that, one, you've got to identify in order to achieve your goals, you've got to make the changes that you probably hear my dog in the background. You've got to make the changes that you want. Two, you've got to understand that it's a change. Well, number one, change. You've got to make a change and it's a change of behavior. Two, it's going to be uncomfortable. It's because it's painful. It's new. You're going to suck at it. You've got to em embrace the pain. And then three, understand uh, that you've got to do the work, man. You've got to do the work. And this video, I'm realizing, I'll share it with you, really comes up from one client that um, I'm, I'm working with right now. And, uh, you know, I've, I've had one or two other guys like him, this like archetype. And, um, you know, this, this, I, I think in their minds, they think that like signing up with the coach is like going to be this magic pill. And then I'm giving these workouts and it's like, you know, oh, these are like revolutionary groundbreaking workouts and like, 
oh my God, I have a meal plan and, or like a nutrition program. I know what I'm supposed to be doing. Well, you know, it's good. But then they don't do any of the work, right? Like they're, they're not going to the gym. They're not following, you know, their nutrition program. They're like, I mean, you can't expect any changes, right? So I want you again to understand that it's uncomfortable and you have to make a change and that you have to do the work. And I know that message is simple, but it's really not any more than that. If you just do those things, if you prepare yourself beforehand mentally, that this is going to require some, a level of effort that's uncomfortable and a change in behavior in order to create new habits to get what I want. And you take that approach. And then the second approach, understanding that pain is involved and that you are going to be uncomfortable and you just prepare yourself mentally before you start. Or if you're in the middle of the goal or towards the end, it doesn't matter. These are all things that apply throughout the goal achieving process. And then lastly, understand that you got to do the work, boy. You got to get your ass in there. You got to do that work. You can't sit around and expect some magic shit to happen. You got to go. You got to get your ass to the gym. You got to lift the weights. And you can't just lift the weights pa 